What's up everybody, Rage Quitting here. Key binding is an essential skill in Star Wars The Old Republic PvP. It is much more efficient than clicking and it allows you full control of your character and camera while being able to use all your offensive abilities and defensive cooldowns. In PvP, when each second matters, you need the most efficient key bindings possible and I'm going to show you how to achieve this step by step with this video. So follow along with me and I will have you key binding like a pro in no time and we are going to start right now. Alright guys, in order to start key binding, we need to fix the most basic thing here and it is your movement keys. So by default, W, A, S, D are your movement keys, but the problem here is that A is to turn left and D is to turn right, with strafe being on Q and E. If you are someone who uses your keyboard to turn your character, stop what you're doing right now and let's fix those key binds. What you need to do is you need to hit escape, go to preferences, go down to the key bindings tab here, and then go to movement. There are two schools of thought here on this process. You can either use WASD for your forward back, strafe left, and strafe right, or you can use QWES for your strafe left, strafe right, move forward, and move backwards. Technically, QWE is more efficient than WASD because your ring finger and your pointer finger are closer to the top row where most people put their skills on the one through five buttons, but do this how however you like. I'm more comfortable with WASD and we're going to talk about backpedaling later, okay? Because I don't even use backpedal, but we'll talk about that later. I'm more comfortable with WASD, so that's what I'm going to set for my preferences here. In the movement, strafe left is going to be on A, strafe right is going to be on D. We do not need any keyboard turning keys. So once you're done with that, hit apply. All right, guys, in case you were wondering why keyboard turning is bad, it basically just comes down to the speed in which your character can turn. It's just less efficient. So take an example here. I'm doing circles around this war zone training dummy here, and it's just a little clunky and a little bit awkward. And if I wanted to change directions, it takes me this long. And now I have to go around, you know, this way. Whereas if I'm using my mouse to hold down the right click and strafe around the target, I can keep that target dummy in the middle of my screen facing it and I can switch directions freely whenever I want. It just comes down to speed. If I need to turn around, boom, I can just turn around. Whereas keyboard turning takes this long. And in this game, you cannot count on anybody that's directly behind you. Keyboard turners get exploited by experienced PvPers all the time. If they notice you are keyboard turning, and they will notice, you know, it's really easy to run through you and step behind you like this and cast abilities on you while you are taking this long to turn around. And when you finally do turn around, they can just run through you again and turn around quickly and do more skills on you, okay? So it's just all speed here. The importance of strafing is to allow your character freedom of movement while also being able to hit your abilities and use your mouse whenever you need to. In order to easily illustrate this for you in a video, I'm on my Sork now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep strafing to the left and use my abilities as I'm moving around this target. So right now I'm still able to move and I'm still able to use all of my abilities. And whenever I want to use my mouse for ground targeting abilities like Force Storm, I can easily place my mouse wherever I need to place it if I want to do precise placement of Force Storm, right? So just like this, if I was using my mouse, I'd have to move my mouse down here, click the ability, and then come back up and click the ability again. Whereas whenever you're strafing, my mouse is always somewhere in the center of my screen here. When I'm holding down my right click button, now I can control my camera like this while strafing left and right. And whenever I need to use a ground targeted ability, all I need to do is click, press the button, which is on my S key, and then click the ground. It's much faster than moving your mouse to the button and then moving your mouse back up to wherever you want to aim it. Now let me introduce you to another concept, jumping, okay? So people jump a lot in the war zones and some people might just be doing it just for fun, but there is actually a reason to using jump while you're pressing your abilities. So for example here, uh, my shock is currently on E. I cannot strafe to the right with my pointer finger and then hit E also with my pointer finger. This is just one example. There's a bunch of other abilities that you cannot hit while you are strafing to the right because your pointer finger is on your strafe right key. But if I strafe to the right and jump, once I'm in the air, I'm in the air for about half a second, that gives you time to then hit the key that you need to hit while you are moving in that direction. Because once you're in the air, you can no longer control your movement. So you will be moving to the right, which is essentially, you know, strafing to the right. While you are in the air, it gives you that half second to lift your finger off of your strafe key and then hit the key that you really wanted to hit while you're in the air, like this. Also, if I'm moving away from my target and I wanna run this way, but I want to cast on them without having to stop my movement going forward, you can jump, turn around, cast on them, and you know continue like that. 
So if you ever see people jumping in the war zone, there is actually a reason to doing it. All right, guys, and then moving into the reason why I don't use backpedal. So there's a couple reasons. One reason is if I don't need the S key to backpedal, I can use that key for a key bind. The second reason is that backpedal is very, very slow. So if I use my backpedal key that's on my down arrow now because I don't have it on S, right? This is how, how long it takes to move from here all the way back here. Without using the backpedal, I can still move in that exact direction by just holding down my right click turning my camera this way and then strafing to the left, okay? Or doing it the other way and strafing to the right. Turn like this and strafe to the right. And now I'm moving in that same direction without having to backpedal and move slowly like this. All right, guys, now that we got movement and camera control out of the way, we're gonna actually go into the key binding process. First thing you wanna do might sound pretty obvious. You wanna put all of your abilities on your bar, but the way that I want you to try and do it is to categorize them and section them out in certain places on your bar that makes sense to you. For example here, I have all my DPSing abilities, the ones that are most commonly used on the top bar here. And along with that, this top bar since it's the abilities that I will be hitting most often are on the easiest abilities to hit. So left to right here, I have one, two, three, four, five, which is a little bit of a stretch, but if you practice, it's, it's fine. And then Q, S, E, R, T, F, and C. These key binds are very easy to hit. The hardest ones to hit here are T and five, since they're a little bit more of a stretch, depending on your hand size or whatever, and your dexterity. This is all my DPSing abilities, the most commonly used ones. There are DPS abilities that are not up here, such as Assault and Sweeping Slash. These ones are not used as much as the aforementioned abilities, so they can take a backseat and be put on Shift keys. So I have Sweeping Slash and Assault here on shift F and shift C, which is still very easy to hit, although you do have to hit a shift key to use them now. The most common mistake that new players make is they put certain abilities in certain places uh, without any regard to how often they would actually hit that key. So for example, Q, S, E, one, two, three, four, very, very easy abilities to hit. I definitely don't wanna put Saber Ward, which is a three minute cooldown on a very easily accessible button because although it'll be easy to hit my Saber Ward, I'm only gonna be using that key once every three minutes. So instead, I have abilities that are very, very low cooldown and part of my DPS rotation on the easiest to hit keys. Moving on here, my defensives are all stacked over here on the left side, Shift 1, Shift 2, Shift 3, Shift 4, and Shift 5 is a little bit too hard for me, so Shift Space is what I'm using instead. And Shift Space is actually very, very easy. Your thumb is always resting on that space key and your pinky finger is always resting on the shift key. So shift space is very, very easy to use. Another little side note here, another set of keybinds that are very easy to use and often overlooked are your movement keys with a shift key attached to it. So for example, I use W, A, and D. A is strafe left, D is strafe right, W is move forward. If you just put a shift A, shift W, and shift D, you can also use these key binds here. What's really strong about these key binds is that since your fingers are always resting on those keys, all you have to do is hit shift. The best things to put here are things that combo well together. So for example, if I was on my uh, sorcerer or I could put polarity shift and recklessness on either of these keys. And if I wanted to hit both of those buffs at the same time, I could just hit shift and press down on those two keys. I'm on my juggernaut right now. So for example, if I wanted to, I could put like my CC breaker with saber ward and damage reduction all here. So if I get stunned and I wanna put on some damage reduction with Warzone Adrenal and my Saber Ward, I could just hit shift and pound all three of these keys at the same time and all the abilities would go off at the same time. This is just an example. You can put any combination of abilities that go well together on these keys and, and, and it would be very easy to hit them all. So moving on here, like I said, I have my defensive abilities over here from shift one, two, three, four, and shift space. I have my crowd controlling abilities over here on shift Q, shift S, shift E, shift R, and shift T. The taunts I'm going to categorize as crowd control. And then lastly, we still have a row on the bottom of our keyboard, Z all the way to V, and sometimes B if you're comfortable hitting that key. 
you can also use these keys as well. Um, if you are using W, A, and D for your movement, Z all the way to V is easier to hit than if you were to use Q, W, and E for your movement ability, since you have to kind of crunch your hand a little bit more to get to that bottom row. Either way, those are also easy keys to hit with some practice. So make sure that you assign keys to your quick bars. You have to go into your preferences here. And in order to make sure you know which bar you are using, I open my interface editor here so you can see what it is. So this is quick bar two, quick bar three, quick bar four. So when I go up into my preferences here and go to the key bindings tab down at the bottom, go to quick bar and scroll down until you find whichever quick bar you are trying to change. And then go ahead and add all these key binds in here. Okay. So uh, once again, the easiest things for me to hit are all on my DPS rotation. So it's one, two, three, four, five, Q, S, E, R, T, F, and C. And then going down a bar, it, it makes sense for me to just have the same exact keys, but now they're on shift keys. So shift one through four, shift five is a little bit harder to hit. So I don't, I skip shift five and I go to shift space, which is underrated key bind right here. Shift space is OP and then shift Q, shift S, E, R, T, F, and shift C. And then on the last bar, we have single keys again, but they're a little bit further away so it might take a little bit more practice to use, but for me, I'm very comfortable with it. Z, X, V, and then G. You could put B here as well. And then we have the most underrated uh, key binds with shift plus your movement key. So whichever ones you use, whether it be Q, W, E, or A, W, D, I have them here, shift A, shift W, and shift D. If you have mouse buttons that you can assign as keybinds, you should definitely do that as well because those are the best keybinds to have. You can have full control of your character's movement while having uh, buttons on your mouse that you can press to use your abilities. All right, guys, before we continue any further, let me just address that I know switching from clicking over to key binding is very daunting because depending on how long you've been playing this game, by default, none of these key binds are here. The game kind of makes you keyboard turn and click your skills. As you get more and more skills and you start filling up your bar, if you didn't take the time back then to go through what I'm teaching you today and assigning keys to keybinds, you know, you're just not used to this, right? You've been used to clicking your skills and turning with your keyboard, but I know I know some good PVPers that actually still click all of their abilities. Um, those players are anomalies, okay? And they've been playing for a very long time and they've They've never changed and they've been doing this for a very long time. But I think that even if they were to learn to keybind, they would get better for sure. The way I think of it is, let's say there's two ladders. Uh, one ladder has 30 steps on it and another ladder has 50 steps on it. The clicker, that's very, very good at clicking. He's at the top of the ladder with 30 steps. And you now trying to learn how to keybind is at the bottom of the ladder that has 50 steps, but you have the potential to climb higher than they do. Okay. That's, that's how I think of it. Keybinding in itself, there's a physical muscle memory that you can develop with keybinding, right? Your fingers physically touch the keyboard and you can train this muscle memory to reach certain keys and get the dexterity. Whereas with clicking, you know, your hand is on the mouse. That's the only physical function that you can train but the actual cursor on your screen reaching over, you know, to click certain skills, that's not a muscle memory that you can train. Also, the other thing here is that if you are looking down at your skills in order to move your cursor to it and click it, you're not looking up at what's happening on the war zone or what your opponent is doing. So by key binding, you can have more awareness. You can look up more. If you build that dexterity and that muscle memory, you don't even have to look down at your bars as often. The only time that you have to actually look down is to see what cooldowns you want to hit. And then from there, your eyes go back up and you can physically hit the skills with your built muscle memory. All right, guys, now that we have all of our abilities on our bars, with keybinds attached to them, it is now time to practice this and put it into action, okay? If you've been clicking for a long time and keyboard turning for a long time, I, I know from from trying to teach my friend, you're automatically going to default to doing things the way that you used to do it. You need to train yourself to relearn even from moving. Okay. So hold down your right click mouse button all the time. Just hold it down. There is no, there is no keyboard turning anymore. So you need to turn with your mouse hand. Okay. Hold down the right click, turn your character, turn your camera with your mouse hand. Since we're not keyboard turning anymore, we are strafing. So strafe left, strafe right move forward. If you need to move backwards, turn your camera and go that way. It's much faster than backpedaling like so. Okay. So if you accidentally go past something, just turn around. The training part here is to do your DPS rotation. First, we'll take it into steps. You can do it without moving. So first, what you want to do is just go ahead 
and stand still first and do your DPS rotation here and just continue from here, okay? No movement involved. Just constantly go through your DPS rotation. Look down at your bars and practice your rotation and try to keep it in a constant flow, okay? The next step here after you've done that and you're comfortable is to now add movement. So hold down that right click 100% of the time. Okay, the only time that you don't right click is when you're trying to left click on something or if you're going to turn your camera in the opposite direction that you're running with your left click button here, right? So left click button turns your camera around, right click turns your whole character with the camera, right? So now we are going to practice our DPS rotation while moving around the target. So try to move as much as you can, switch directions, go left, go right, okay? And try to keep hitting your key binds, right? So like I said before, there are times where you're not going to be able to strafe and hit a certain key at the same time. So for example, uh, if I wanted to hit my 4 button or my C button right now, if I'm strafing to the right, I'm not going to be able to hit those without stopping. There's two things you can do. You can strafe, jump, and hit the ability, right? Because while you're in the air, like I said earlier, you're in the air, you're still moving in that direction. Then you have time to lift your finger off of your strafe button and hit, you know, the, the four button, for example, right now, okay? The second thing you can do is to hold down both left click and right click at the same time to, to keep moving in that direction, right? If you hold both clicks, you can move forward and you can still control your camera in the direction you want to run. So if I'm strafing and I want to move around the target in this direction and I want to hit my four key, I can either jump and hit four or I can put my left click button down as well and continue to move around the target and hit four like this. Okay. So move to the right, hit as hit all of your buttons and practice your rotation while you are moving over to the right and then also switch directions from time to time and do the same thing but on the left side, okay? Adding to this practice now is to just use all of your other abilities along with your DPS rotation. So as I'm doing my rotation and strafing around the target, if I wanted to hit my saber ward for example, I'd go ahead and use my saber ward. Okay, if I wanted to uh, do a push or a choke, I'm using those abilities right now, right? Or my taunts, right? So you get the idea. What I'm saying here is to just spend time on the dummy here and practice all of your buttons while moving at the same time uh, and changing directions and so on and so forth. Okay, get, get used to the keybinds, build that muscle memory and practice okay the key the key word here is practice all right guys that is going to do it for this key bindings guide i really hope you liked it if you did please leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel and good luck out there this will be worth it in the end i promise you just go ahead and practice now and i will see you guys on another one peace